site considerations. You know, what are those things that are going to influence whether we can deliver a passive house in practice? Critical success factors, having a compact building form. So if you're starting out, as I mentioned earlier on, um, about an architectural design and you know, how can you uh, avoid compromising the architecture of the design? Well, you design the you know, with your, your architectural intent in the first place to deliver a good quality passive house as opposed to starting out from doing whatever you want and then trying to retrofit passive house to it. So here we've got some uh, expensive sky hooks. Uh, basically, in order to support masonry structure uh, as an external leaf, we've then got suspended off the concrete beam. There's mild steel structure to support that um, rain screen. And that is particularly complex and costly um, to introduce because of the, you know, the thermal bridging that's introduced. Sterling Barn, <coughs> retrofit, Huddersfield again, of course, uh, Yorkshire Wildlife Trust, box within a box, um, air tightness of 0.35 it's ended up being uh, for Enerfit, but I mean that's, we should do if we're building a timber frame building within <laughs> a masonry one, but I won't go into the design of why, I'm going to talk basically of the contract and the setup and the risk actually. The premise of this question is that you've been given a task. One of your colleagues um, uh, has been asked, has asked you to actually review the specification that's on the front page. Okay? Um, yeah, there's a pair of homes that are to be built to satisfy the passive house standard and you've got some plans and sections and elevations um, of, of the project uh, at the back, towards the back of the pack. Um, your job is to identify any risks that you think are associated with that project based upon the, draw you know, the drawings that you've got and the specifications that you've got. And think about it from the range of different considerations here. So you know, what, what risks might exist because of quality assurance methods? How are you actually going to achieve that through behaviour? You know, what are people going to do on site that could get wrong? What issues are you going to have to consider environmentally? Yeah, weather conditions, etc., and also through the technologies that you specify. Um, are these you know, are all of these technologies appropriate and compatible, and are they going to lead to a successful conclusion? The contractor suggests a much cheaper MBHR with a higher. It's got a higher um, efficiency than the passive house one you specified. So, what do you need to check? And what? And it's a whole system they've offered. They've offered a much cheaper system installed. What might they have chopped out? So there's two things here. What do you need to check? Efficiency. Efficiency. Fan power. Fan power. Noise. Noise.